Hi there, Pam Drewswicki, owner of Powerful Purpose. I'm sitting here today doing some um, reflection and planning. Reflection on how my first year as an entrepreneur went. Um, and also the planning for 2018. Um, I truly suggest that everybody takes the time, take a day to three days if you can, um, to reflect and plan. It's so important. Uh, we get up every day and we just kind of get to work and do what we got to do. Um, and sometimes we do that not even thinking about what we want our results to be. So if we set some time aside and do that ahead of time, can you imagine the results we will receive, right? So in my reflection, um, I really was struggling a little bit around, that's a hard, that's a strong word, but really struggling a little bit around what is the meaning of success to me? right? What does success mean inside my business? I could sit here and say success is equal to the point that I'm able to make enough money to uh, run my household or actually take care of all the fun things and the necessities in my family. Um, but realistically, doing that really diminishes uh, the work that I have done in creating the connections and building the foundations and the networking that I did in the first year inside the business. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think I'm going to define my success based on my mission statement. And my mission statement is to either connect with work or serve 2,500 women by 2020. So how did that line up? How did my success for the year line up to that? Well, you know, when I connect with women, I do networking events, I, um, I do speaking engagements, I'm on the radio, I do book signings. So as I sit there and plan and reflect, you know, say reflect, I sit there and say, okay, how many of those pieces fit into that part of my mission statement? And I work my goals around that, okay? So now my working with, that's how many women have I actually got paid from to do the services that I do? Okay, so um, either it be a vision board workshop, one-on-one -on -one business or life coaching, um, my accountability groups, my group coaching, um, team building events, anything along that, those lines. What were my goals around working with people? Were they aligned with the money that I was going to make from it? Or was it aligned with the amount of women I was going to work with? Um, and then I have my serve. How did I line up with my serve part of it? Okay, so my serving is um, my volunteer work. Uh, it could be the membership ambassador committee that I belong on uh, for the Central Connecticut Chamber. It could be the HSA school board that I'm on um, at St. Matthew's School. Um, or it could be sheer volunteering. Um, but the big one for me is my big drive, which is fill the purse with purpose. And that is something I developed when I started creating Powerful Purpose in 2015. And what that is, is, you know, it's a give back. So um, I collect gently used purses and from the donors and the donors fill them with purposeful items along with writing a beautiful inspirational note to the recipient. And over the past couple of years, I have been able to help close to 200 women with the purses that I've collected. And this year, I was um, able to speak in front of the Connecticut Trial Lawyers Association, and I was able to give back um, there where they adopted that. So I'm going to be meeting 
um, um, a law office and collecting purses there along with all of the other collections that people have donated to me. So this year my drive looks like it's going to be probably well over 200 and able to help eight organizations. So now when I reflect, how did I measure up with the connection? Is that where I wanted to be? So when I sit there and do that, it gives me a different sense of purpose. It shows me that my foundation of my business is building exactly the way I help other people build their lives and their businesses. So when you do your year in reflection, please don't be so hard on yourself. Truly step back, see how you aligned with your mission. And if you don't have a mission statement, I would really suggest you to develop one now so you have one for 2018 and that can help measure your success, not only on the financial side, but on the impact of the give back and on the impact of the amount of customers or clients you decide to reach. Um, if you need help with that, that's some of the work that I do. So feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to do a mission statement brainstorming session with you. Okay, so my email address is pam at powerful-purpose.com or you could check me out on my website with is www.powerful-purpose.com and I would love to hear from you or connect and remember, my motto, okay, is live your life with purpose and not driven by those circumstances. So I hope you found this video um, helpful. And if so, please give me a thumbs up or share it along. Have a super day. Good luck in your planning. And don't forget, do your annual review and celebrate, celebrate the great successes you had this year. Take care. Bye-bye.